Alan, also, also in Parliament this morning, Labor is trying to get up a bill to ban single-use plastic bags, with New South Wales the last state to do so. Yeah, that's right, they are, Christy. Uh, New South Wales has uh, lagged behind the other states in terms of taking this measure. New South Wales Labor has tried three times previously since 2016 to get up this single-use plastic bag bill, but have failed on every occasion. They're hoping it's fourth time but lucky for them after the bill uh, in a shock move passed the Upper House of Parliament last month. It is in the Lower House this morning, and Jody McKay says that it would be the right step for the state to take. We are the last state in Australia. Even Queensland has banned the bag. The first state was South Australia in 2009. Now, the bill would ban the use of single-use plastic bags under 35 microns and would involve $5,000 fines for people, for retailers who breach that ban. Uh, it would also be regulated by the Environmental Protection Authority. At the moment in New South Wales, only the major supermarkets ban the use of single-use plastics. Uh, but the Environment Minister here, Matt Keane, has just stood up in Parliament and said while he supports the idea of a bag ban in principle, he wants a more comprehensive and bipartisanship approach to the issue. Thanks for the update. I want to ban the bag. <laughs> I want to ban the bag. But banning the bag alone is not the silver bullet that Labor would have you believe. It's part of a much bigger challenge. If Labor were serious, they would withdraw this bill and work with me in a bipartisan manner to deliver not just a ban on single-use plastic bags, but to deal with other single-use plastics like cutlery, straws, coffee cups and takeaway containers, just to name a few, Mr Speaker. Now, while most of the plastic pollution in the world's waterways comes from a handful of developing countries, Australia still does contribute to the problem with 130,000 tonnes of plastic dumped into our waterways every year, according to conservation group WWF.